Hey friend friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel for those of you who are new. In today's new video, it's going to be a birthday special. Now what I mean by that is I'm going to explain to you guys how I basically created the outfit or like the custom quote unquote obviously uh, outfit that I did for my birthday look. Now this is how it looked right here and as you guys already saw it was on my Instagram as well as well as on my Snapchat story and Instagram story as well. So you all already have like an idea as to how it looks but I'm just going to explain to you and walk you through the process that I went through to do it. So without further ado let's get into it. Sorry, I just ate some Chipotle. It was not fun nor fresh. It was good, but now I'm paying for it, low key. But it's fun. So the inspiration that I got for this look was actually, I don't know if you all remember this or have seen this uh, throughout like, you know, social media, but typically people use spray paint and they'll paint their jeans or like one leg of their jeans. Therefore creating this look right here. So with that being said, since I don't have another suit to do, I have a jean jacket that I'm gonna be using, um, but, uh, the, I already drew on it and I already created the look because um, I, tr I already recorded this video, but it, uh, my face was out of frame. So that was not fun nor fresh, but nevertheless. So what I did was that I used, cut out some stencils. Now, this these are so easy to make. I bought some poster paper from Dollar Tree, which was a dollar, super duper cheap, and just cut it up and I drew out each of the symbols. So like the LV and then of course like these little flower ones all, all on this paper. I just like traced over my iPad to get the precision of the monogram on these uh, pieces of paper. From there, I went in with an X-Acto knife and I cut each and every one of them. Like, you know, I, I just followed the lines so I can cut it. Obviously it wasn't perfect. And now I'm not trying to make this like look editorial, like perfect. Like I wanted people to know that like, oh, hey, that was hand painted because like I do want like that artistry the, and that like uniqueness to the customized piece that you're doing just because I think that adds a little bit more taste and a little bit more fun to the entire thing. From there, what I use is I use one of these little stampy thingies, those little spongy thingy machines. I don't know what they're called. Let me know in the comments below if y'all know what these are called, but I use one of these to just press it on and kind of stamp it on because I think it makes it look more of like a spray painted look, which is the look that we were trying to go for from the very beginning. So I'm gonna go ahead and start placing everything and placing it where it was gonna fit on the jacket. Okay, so for the most part, I placed it. I'm still kind of gauging it just because since it is a larger, like, you know, monogram moment, I don't want to overdo it and like have too many of like the, uh, too many of the side pieces instead of the LV pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, paint the LV piece on there and then go from there to see how I want to place it. Just because again, since it has like the cutouts around it, it's a little bit harder to be able to really gauge it. So I poured the paint. Now something that I would rec recommend that you watch out for is not to get too much of this. With these types of like brushes, they tend to like over, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, over moisturize. They get very moist very, very quickly and they take up a lot of paint. So when you go to do it and like do the job on the actual like jacket or whatever like material you're doing, it can like spread and it can like leak sometimes. So that's something I am gonna warn you guys about. Now, something I like to do too is get like some double-sided tape and tape like, tape like up here where there is like some whatever, some space and then try to tape it onto the jacket just because I don't want it to move from the area that I am doing it because again, if it moves, it can ruin everything and we don't want that. We just don't want that. That's so rude and just not fun nor, nor fresh. So I'm gonna go ahead and start painting this on there. All right, so I went ahead and did it and this came out actually really, really good. I think this one came out low-key kind of better than the first time I did it. I know, it's bad that I say that because like, you know, the first time was my birthday outfit and I should have done the experiment on this one instead. No cap, but it's fine, it's fine. But look how good that came out. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll obviously show like a reveal at the end. Look how good that came out. Ugh, I am living for this. Okay, perfect. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and measure out the rest of like whatever I need to do for this so I can really get that Louis Vuitton monogram moment. So, okay, I finished like the little diamond like flower thingy these. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. It looks 
so cute. I absolutely adore this. The way it came out, like the lines look really precise. Obviously like, yes, is it perfect? No, because like I did everything by hand, but does it look very, very good from afar? Yes, it does. So that's the look that I'm going for is from afar. <laughs> but we're gonna continue and I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the little, like this flower imaging moment. I don't know what this is to be honest with you, but you know, I still love it and I love Louis Vuitton. Um, I stand her except with those masks that they came out with. Would I get one if I had the money? Yes, I would. Would I still use a mask underneath the mask? Yes, I would again. So I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a give or take on that one. But yes, let me go ahead and put this on. I'll be right back. All right, so I finished it. That was actually super quick, super fun, super easy. Um, this was probably the best, like it came out better than like the pants and all that. I think the reason why was just because this one I had like a like this one pattern or like this one area that I want to work on. Um, and so like, I at least had that structure. And something I did want to say was thank you to everybody that wished me a happy birthday. I forgot to say this at the beginning of the video, but thank you guys so much for all the birthday wishes, everything that you guys did for me. It did mean the absolute most for, it did mean the absolute most to me. And you guys just made that day so much better. So thank you guys so much. And we ended up just having like a little dinner just because, just because with COVID going on, um, we couldn't really do much. So here's a little clip from them singing me happy birthday real quick. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. And of course, my iconic cake for all of that. A lot of people message me about this actually, and they're like, this is such an extra cake. Am I surprised? Not at all. Happy birthday. And I was like, you know what? Thank you, girl. So this is gonna be the final look of the piece. It is so cute. I would put it on, but it's still drying considering I just finished doing it. Like I said in uh, the original filming like process, if y'all want like a customized work like that, please let me know. Please feel free to ask. I am more than happy to do it. Of course, there will be a service charge just for shipping and whatever else that needs to be done, but it's not gonna be expensive, I promise you that. As well, I wanna say a huge, huge thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday this past Monday. It literally made my day so much better and it just, you know, it really made my day special, feel very special and made me feel special as a person as well. Thank you guys so much as well. Let's try to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the month. I love you guys so much and I believe that we can actually do that. We are only... So we're at 88 subscribers. We're only 12 people away from 100 subscribers. Now, if y'all get to 100 subscribers, I will do a giveaway, either one of the customized like, pieces and or like something else like, that I buy for you all and just ship it out. And of course, we'll do a giveaway like that. But nevertheless, don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you know when I upload brand new videos. If y'all wanna follow me on you know this journey of fashion and everything else, follow me on any of my socials that are gonna be around the screen right here. As well, if y'all want to see a customized look or want a customized look like this one right here, please DM me on my Instagram right here and, and let me know what you want to see. Nevertheless, I love y'all so, so much. Thank you again for watching. I'm so sorry that I had to redo this again, but I love y'all so much. I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.